There has been a massive change with Future Storm and Milda, and a landfall now isn't even guaranteed. Let's dive into the latest trends right now. Take a look at this satellite here. The two things you're gonna notice, we got two tropical systems right now. That's category four, Humberto, on the verge of becoming category five. It will probably later today. Also, we've got a Melda down here churning, and they're both moving towards the southeast coast. Now, Cat 4 Humberto has become way stronger than we originally anticipated and is starting to move a little bit further to the west. And because of that, plus Amelda also being a little bit further to the west as well, have had dramatic impacts on the forecast. The biggest impact that has had along with the slower Amelda is now the National Hurricane Center is calling for no landfall for this hurricane. And look at this, by the time we get to Tuesday, it takes a hard right term, goes back out to sea, and that'd keep the worst impacts offshore. Notice how Imelda is moving much slower to the north than expected, than a lot of the models picked up on. And because of Imelda's slower movement, Imelda is now more likely to curve out to sea. Look at this trend. This is the 18Z models from yesterday. So that's yesterday evening. And notice how the majority have Imelda making landfall here along the South Carolina or Georgia coastline. Now let's take a look at today. Only two models now have been making landfall. The majority of the hurricane models have it going out to sea. That is a huge change. A lot of models now have it becoming a category one hurricane, so it will become a hurricane, and some even have it getting strong to a category two plus. But if Imelda stays away from the coast, it's not gonna matter. Now what about the rain? Are we going to see significant flooding rain inland like we were talking about? And the answer, if this thing goes offshore, is no. If future storm Imelda does in fact take this track and veers away away from the coast, the most significant rain is gonna stay offshore. I mean, look at that, we're close to 20 inches of rain. And that would have been over the Carolinas if Imelda would be closer to the coast. Thankfully though, a lot of the latest models are only showing a couple inches of rain in North Carolina and South Carolina, which is a massive shift from what the models were showing yesterday. Yesterday we were talking about totals of 10 to 20 inches. Now, only a couple. It seems like the Fujiwara effect is going to be what saves the people of Carolina from seeing significant impacts and having a direct landfall from Imelda. As the stronger Humberto will suck Imelda out to sea. That's crazy. Bottom line, guys, this is one of the most complex forecasts in recent memory, so things could still change. But the trend has been your friend in the Carolinas. And right now, it doesn't look like Imelda is gonna make landfall. It's great news. I'm gonna be watching this closely. Stormcat 5, and I'll see you on the next one.